the preseason is here. Finally, football is back in our lives. What is up everyone, coffee break here. And before I start with what I look forward to in the first preseason game from the 49ers, let's start with AB and the Raiders. What the hell is happening in Napa? Today, I couldn't help but understand what seemed to be a fake story all seem true. I'm still questioning. But for those who don't know, here's a long story short. The league has made a certain helmet that AB was accustomed to wearing illegal, at least according to them. This same style helmet has been worn by Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, who both, to my knowledge, have made the seamless transition. But AB being AB said, nah, and has made a huge deal about having to switch his helmet. Helmet, we're talking about helmet like the great Allen Iverson would say, practice. AB is either the biggest troll in all of football or he's the biggest diva. Either side of the coin, this isn't a good look for the star receiver and the Oakland Raiders. And as a Niner fan, we're just enjoying this as everyone else is. Imagine him pulling this on the Niners when we have injuries to deal with. I guess we just dodged the bullet, but for now, this is a complete joke of a story and this is going to be a great Hard Knocks episode. So can't wait for the next one, HBO. But anyways, now back to the Niners where I feel excited for the preseason opener. The Niners won't start Jimmy according to early talks from Shanahan, but that's okay. So many other things to look forward to here from defensive line, running back, offensive line, secondary. But let's start with wide receiver. The Niners have a wide receiver controversy, sorta kinda. According to some of the reports coming out of training camp, Marquise Goodwin and Dante Pettis haven't looked great in practice. Now, this is not an overreaction, but you know, it is just something to throw out there. These are potentially our two starters, right? I mean, what does worry me about Goodwin is his health. It's always been health. He hasn't been able to stay on the field. And what also worries me about Pettis is just having a setback this year. So when I see those reports come out, it's discouraging to me, especially from the Pettis standpoint. You know, he's coming off his rookie season, who was great. He got hurt, missed some games, but you just want that player to take the next step. And the next step is huge, you know, just being consistent, but he hasn't been that. I just hope that the preseason can sort of get them back in the rhythm, build some confidence, just being consistent, I guess, is where I'm going. Now, the other two guys I want to see in preseason, though, is D Debo and Jalen Hurd. I've showed my love for Debo here in this channel, but those two guys I feel like have the biggest ceiling out of the rest of the group. I mean, Hurd has the height factor, right? He's big, he's strong, he's physical. Something the Niners don't actually have if you look at the rest of the receiving core. Throw in Kendrick Bourne. I think Kendrick Bourne could go in the middle of the field better than anyone. But then you look at Debo, he has the speed, he has the quickness, runs great routes, has the strong hands. He can also become a very great receiver in this offense. So just keep an eye out for those two. Now let's transition over to the defense and talk rookie linebacker Dre Greenlaw. He's looked good in practice. I think he will complement Fred Warner's play. He's physical. I think the linebackers in general, we have improved dramatically, right? If you throw in Quan Alexander, who is still trying to get healthy. But I'm excited uh, about this rookie here. Uh, he's shown great improvement. I think he's picking up the defense well, and I'm looking forward to see him on Saturday. And then secondary too. What does the safety play look like? I mean, what happened to Adrian Colbert? Remember, we thought this guy was going to take over the position, be the starter, uh, be the next. Goldson, he even played like him a little bit too. So I haven't seen the same player. And also he's he's been a guy who's been dealing with injuries. But outside of him, I like to see who's stepping up, who's trying to pick up this roster spot. I'm looking forward to see who's, who's taking the lead on that. Uh, and then lastly, let's look at offensive line. I don't know how this thing shakes up, but I haven't heard much about offensive line in camp. And maybe that's a good thing. 
but I like to see it for myself. I mean, I'm sure Mike McGlinchey looks solid. He's been going up against D Ford, Nick Bosa, who are both hurt by the way, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. And of course we have Joe Staley, who's a vet. He's probably not going to play, but what about the backup center position? We have Richburg who's dealing with injury, trying to get ready for week one. I like to see who we got in terms of depth, right? We know that it's, it's the trenches. So whenever you're dealing with offensive line, defensive line, you want to look at not only who's your starter, but who's going to be the backup. But anyways, guys, let me get your thoughts on this whole situation with AB. Um, it's still it's still kind of a joke to me, but let me get your thoughts on that and the Niners first preseason game. Who do you look forward to watch tomorrow? Go ahead and drop a comment below. Thank you all for, you know, leaving me such great feedback in my previous video. I appreciate that. As always, thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.